everyone, j Lights here, and we are back with our final part of ranking the collectibles of the year. If you haven't seen the first three parts, go ahead, check the link in the description below and get caught up. Remember, we are ranking our collectibles of the year based on the design. Does the design say that it's collectible of the year worthy? The concept, does it cater to the collector? Also, the presentation. Does the presentation complement the lighter? I've had several collectors reach out to me, some of which agree with my rankings, some of which didn't. That is perfectly all right. That is the beauty of collecting. So if you agree with me, let me know down in the comments. If you don't, let me know in the comments what you think. We are cracking into the top five. So if you haven't, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, this is it. We are in the final five collectibles of the year, and it's going to kick off with D-Day, 1994, collectible of the year, D-Day, 50th anniversary. And let's start off with concept. The concept is phenomenal. I mean, there's no other decision that Zippo could have made. Uh, 50th anniversary of D-Day, they've since done the 60th, 65th, 70th, and 75th commemorative D-Day edition. So, I mean, it, it, it really is an amazing concept that they started. Looking at the packaging, amazing. They have the murals of, you have the paratroopers, you have the beach invasion, attacking by land, air, and sea. On the companion set, on the heroes, allied heroes, Collectible edition. You have the beaches, Utah, Gold, Juno, Sword, and Omaha. I mean, it's just whoever thought of these designs, they took it at a very delicate, respectful approach, and they did uh, they did this anniversary justice, in my opinion. You open it up, you have your Zippos. We'll start with the Allied Heroes set. You have Dwight Eisenhower, Charles de de Gaulle, the French general, have Montgomery, and then Omar Bradley. Now, as far as the lighters go, I do, I like the brass. The brass, they, they did a decent job. Kind of wish they went with the single limited edition with that black crackle and maybe an emblem of the generals. That would have been neat, uh, but uh, the brass, I'll take the, the, the brass is, is a good, good substitute. But onto the single edition, they weren't doing replicas at that time, but they did do that black crackle finish. Uh, you know, it's not steel, it's not a f uh, three or four barrel. I think they would have done that if, if it was a little later but it is a very decent decent lighter. I'm glad they went with the black crackle for this one. There I don't think there's any other fitting finish other than black crackle. So this is number 5 collectible of the year 1994 D-Day 50th anniversary. Now we're on our top 4. Any of these top 4 could have been in that number 1 spot. However, I didn't want any ties, so I really wanted to dive in and really get nitpicky on some of these top four because they're all, I mean, they're all on that next level. So we're starting in at number four, Collectible of the Year, 2002, 70th Anniversary, Friends for a Lifetime. The concept of this is just amazing. Uh, it is their, was their final Collectible of the Year. They did plan it that way. They only uh, planned for 10 years of collectibles of the year. And they ended it on Friends for a Lifetime. I think that's an extremely special concept. And also the 10. You look at the 10 and you have all sorts of collectors and employees of Zippo. You have George Duke. That's my friend Jack. I did uh, speak with Jack on his rankings for the collectibles of the year, just kind of getting a different perspective. And obviously his number one was 
this one. Uh, so a little bias, Jack, but you know what? I'll give you a pass on that one. The Zippo this is a 1941 replica. I, I'm trying to think if this was the first 1941 replica. I can't, I really don't know, but uh, this is a 1941 replica. They, if they did, they didn't do very many of them. So also they have a little pamphlet of soldiers and collectors in here and what they did with their Zippo lighter. So really neat. It is a brass Zippo. Uh, there there are some people that really think they could have done better on the design of this Zippo, but I I mean, you have a 1941 replica. It's brass. They could have done some other routes, I'm sure, but overall, it's a really neat Zippo. I think it really does complement the packaging. It complements, yeah, I mean, just the colors of it, just the colors that they utilized for this Zippo. I think really go together. So amazing concept, amazing packaging, really neat lighter, collectible of the year, 70th anniversary, 2002, Friends for a Lifetime, coming in at number four. Uh, coming in at number three, we have 2015 Full Circle. This concept is really amazing. It's starting that fourth generation with George Duke's son, Grant, and he designed this lighter. He machined this lighter. Brilliant. I mean, if, the, if he did this in 2015, I'm excited to see what he, uh, how he does it in, in the future. I mean, th this is amazing design. I challenge anybody to find me a spectrum finish that has this much detail, this much depth, this much texture to it. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful Zippo. This is personally my favorite collectible of the year. However, there are some things that, you know, sets the top two apart from this one. First off, the packaging. Uh, they could have done a little better on the packaging, in my opinion, on this one. Uh, but that's, that's just nitpicking. Overall, this is my favorite collectible of the year. But number three on our list... 2015 full circle charging in at number two we have our 1995 collectible of the year mysteries of the force starting with the cub and jaguar this is similar to the technology they used in the 1996 collectible of the year with the technicolor design the vibrant colors the uh, the detail it is on a brass Zippo. This is a Barrett Smythe design as well from that collection of artists. But what really sets this one apart is this one. The mosaic. You have the Mysteries of the Force. Just this beautiful piece that's combined out of four Zippos. The reason why this is number two is they've not done anything like this since. And uh, that kind of surprised me. Just, I mean, this is a beautiful piece. How four of these lighters make this one beautiful picture. And uh, and for this being the uh, fourth collectible of the year, and they did something like this, I think it's truly amazing. And they really should have done up the rest of their collectibles of the year to this scale. So it... it they did a really great job. The packaging is okay. Uh, you know, I mean, it's very detailed. But the lighter itself and the concept of this really sets this one apart. So that is 1995 Collectible of the Year, Mysteries of the Forest. Soaring in at number one, Collectible of the Year 2019, 50th anniversary of the moon landings. This is definitely on everybody's top three, if not number one, just because they hit the concept. They hit the box design. They hit the lighter design. They did an amazing job with this Zippo, and we're about to tell you why. First off, look at that box. You have that holographic shine to it. 
when it comes to the Zippo and Moon. It goes all the way back to the 60s. Zippo did the moon landing Zippo in 1969. They also have some 1968 moon landing Zippos. Fun fact, uh, they've done so many NASA designs throughout the year. They've done the anniversaries of the moon landing. It is an amazing concept, amazing box design, and the lighter. I challenge you, once again, find me a Zippo where they have a design like this, where you have the textures, when you have the depth, the engravings, the finish, the color, you won't be able to find it. If you do, uh, send it to me. I mean, that that is... I find that hard to believe that there is a Zippo out there that has this much variety to it. I mean, it, it really is an amazing lighter. And if you didn't get it when it came out several years ago, then you're paying for it now. This is one of the most desirable collectibles of the year. Only 14,000 that were made. And this one is, uh, they, they did it right. If I, the reason why I didn't give any of these Zippos a 10 is because I hope, I hope they do better on some. I, I really do. I think there is a lot of improvement and you don't know when they are going to come out with a better Zippo than this. It's possible. We hope it's possible. We would love to see a better lighter than this. It's going to be hard to do, but this one, I just... You can't compete any Zippo. This is probably, as far as the modern day Zippo goes, probably one of the neatest designs that they've come out with. And that is it. That is our rankings from worst to best collectible of the year. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you agree with my list. Maybe you don't. Let me know. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. This is j Lights. We'll see you on the next one.